Okay. I... <laughs> so, I just spent the last hour and a half revamping a video for my wife's school. And I took a whole different approach to it, and I was very excited about it. And I was about ready to render the project. And Final Cut crashed. It crashed, and I reopened the project, and the whole pro... Okay, so a few years ago, Apple decided to change the names of all the stuff, and now it's called a project, and events are above projects, and library is above events, and your library is where you put all of your events, and your events are what you pull from to create a project, and your project is actually your timeline. It used to be called Batch and some other things that made sense. I just, I was that close to finishing the project and all of it is gone. It's completely gone. Come on, don't fail me now. There was a backup 20 minutes ago. So I've only lost the last 20 minutes. This very spot, this is where the reality of a documentary about, hey guys, stop driving, I'm trying to record here. This is where it began. This crazy notion of telling the story of a missionary choosing at the end of his life to return to the land, the country that he worked for 44 years. It was a collaboration. It was a dream and an idea that I had and I brought it to people and the creativity of others began to help shape this thing into reality. And now, over two years later, with the film almost finished and the sound being fixed, Tonight, we're going to shoot the opening credits of the documentary. And we're doing it a little bit differently. We're doing something, we didn't want to just take photographs and throw them up on the screen, a la Ken Burns style. We wanted something different. Two and a half years of doing this documentary with a whole lot of people working a whole lot of parts for very little money. Um, the most profound item, be it a picture or a document or anything, is this right here.
one of the many lenses you can put onto it, and each lens has a different effect. So this one's a slant focus lens, essentially. So I can take my focal plane and shift it and then isolate a very specific part of my frame and keep that in focus.